Hey everyone, in this video, I am going to talk about the speech recognition capabilities which are available to use in JavaScript. The web speech capabilities which are available as experimental APIs right now at the time of making this video can be broadly divided into two categories. Number one is speech recognition and number two is speech synthesis. Speech recognition is to recognize the speech input of the user and then perform the actions in the web application depending on the speech commands which are given. This is such a powerful and underused feature that it can actually change the way we use and operate websites in a tremendous manner. The major uses of this API can be speech controlled web actions, speech dictation, etc. Speech recognition and synthesis can be very useful for people who are visually impaired and don't have a meaningful way to operate and use websites. In this video, I will tell you about the basics of this API standard which are currently available and I will walk you through a very basic example in which you will see how you can start using this API in your applications as an experimental and optional feature until it becomes more standardized and permanent. So I'm going to create a new file which is going to be the index.html and I'm going to add some HTML content to it. Let's close this pane. As of now, only the latest versions of Firefox and Chrome browsers for PC, iOS and mobile have the support for this API, but since these browsers are being used by a very good percentage of users, it would not be a bad idea to add speech recognition capabilities in your application as an optional feature. Also, the speech recognition is done by using the default system of the operating system on which the app browser is running. Like for example, on Windows, Cortana's system will be used and on iOS series dictation API will be used and so on. So let's move on to see this awesome speech API in action in a very simple code example. But before we do that, I would like to request you all that if you like this video at any point, then please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. By doing this, you will be the first to know about any new videos which I will add. So now in the script tag, I'm first going to add the um, names of the interface or the declaration of the interface which we are going to use and the interface are these ones speech speech recognition i'm sorry for firefox and webkit speech recognition for chrome and then we will need a grammar list which has the interface called as a speech grammar list which is available in firefox and then there's the um, webkit prefix before a speech grammar list in chrome so uh, we need to check which of them is available and then get a reference of it before we can actually use it so these are two main components which come into play when we use this api to use speech recognition and the first one is the speech recognition interface and the second one is a speech grammar list Speech recognition interface provides the functionality to recognize voice from an audio input which is normally any mic which is connected to the computer or mobile device. The speech recognition interface constructor is used to create a new speech recognition object which has a number of event handlers available for detecting when speech is input through the microphone. And then there is the speech grammar interface which represents a container for a particular set of grammar that the application should be able to recognize the grammar is defined using the j speech grammar format and you can learn more about it by um, going to this link this contains all the specifications which the browsers have to implement and i have not gone through very deep i'm just using a very basic version of this grammar in which we are not actually um, giving different options. We will just be um, telling the API that this is the grammar that we will be using. So in this example, what I will do is I will simply use voice commands to um, select and deselect a couple of checkboxes and you will see how the 
uh, voice command will be identified by this API and the inputs will change on the fly without using any mouse interaction. So for that I am simply going to add some inputs or some HTML elements to this HTML page and actually I am sorry I need to do it in the body. So this uh, button which is uh, called as give command will be clicked whenever we will need to provide a voice command and then there is a span which is used to output any status of the speech recognition if the speech commands have been recognized correctly or not or do we need to make a correction um, then there are these four checkboxes for four persons which i intend to select and deselect depending on if the speech command is successful or not now i'm going to define the grammar and it needs to contain a very specific string at the very beginning after this there could be more options but this is the very least which we need at this point for this example this is the uh, type of the grammar which we are going to use which is the um, JSGF version 1.0 and then after this we can um, create the variables for the uh, speech recognition and I will need to add new because this is going to be a new object which will be created using the constructor of this interface and then similarly we will also need the the object for the um, speech grammar list so let's call it speech recognition um, grammar list and we can create it by using the constructor of a speech grammar list interface and then after this we will need to add this um, uh, add the or we need to provide the grammar information to this object which um, grammar syntax or type we are going to use and for this we need to use the add from string function and then inside it we can um, provide the name of this grammar variable and after this we need to provide this information to this speech recognition object too so there is actually a property which we can set which is called as grammars and this is going to be set with the reference of this variable and then after this we need to set some uh, more options too like the um, default language which we are going to use it is not mandatory but it is a good practice to specify it this is going to be the um, US English language and then after that we also need to provide the value of another property which is called as interim results so this will um, tell the API that whether we want entire results when the user has finished or we want the results incoming into the um, event while the user is speaking and we want to um, and, and we want the code to identify the uh, recognized words on the fly while the user is already dictating something so we need to set it to false because we don't want interim results we just um, need the final one so after this we need to bind some functions to the events which we will need and the uh, main events which need to be wired up are the on result which will be called whenever the result will be received and then there is the on speech end which will be um, raised whenever the speech recognition has finished um, listening to the user's voice or the user has finished talking to the mic and then there is the on error so whenever any error will be raised then um, this event will be called and that's pretty much it that we are going to need for and we will also need the reference for this uh, message because we will need to output if the um, user's speech has been correctly recognized or not and we are going to do that by using this um, span 
so your message equals to document dot query selector and then all right so now i'm going to paste the code for the on result on speech and an on error events let's comment out these three ones and then all right so in the on result and all right so these are the event handler functions first let me just tell you about the speech end and on error before i will move on to the on result so whenever the speech will be stopped by the user then we need the recognition object to stop recognizing any um, further speech from the user so we can call the recognition dot stop and then whenever any error is raised then we can um, set a message in this message span that something has gone wrong and we can um, list the error which has occurred now coming on to the on result event uh, we will receive the result of the speech recognition in this on result function in this in this event argument so what happens is if the um, if the um, recognition object has recognized something it may or may not be the correct commands that uh, we were expecting then uh, what we can do is we can simply um, go through this um, results collection and then um, the uh, the last command or the last voice input recognition should be in the last item of this array so we can um, go to the last index and then this the item the the result will also have a number of objects which will have the exact string which has been recognized and we can get that by simply accessing the first item and then the exact string is going to be in this transcript property and after that uh, we will simply recognize the command which has been um, identified by the um, recognition api and then we can check if that if that command is actually matching with any command which we are expecting if that is true then we can go ahead and make changes to the html dom or i don't know do whatever you um, you want your app you want your application to do in this case i'm simply um, checking the uh, checkboxes depending on the command that first we will say select and then we will say the name of the person um, whose checkbox we want to select and then finally we will need to start the recognition and that will happen whenever the um, user will click on this button which is um, give command button and for that we can um, add an event handler to do that and i'm going to do this over here so whenever the button will be clicked then we will need to call the start function of this recognition object and yep that's pretty much it i think we need to do here and i'm going to use the um, live server extension to um, run the code on the local host sport 5500 and let's run it over here there is the html let's see if there is any error or not it's saying recognition is not defined and i'm not really sure why it is saying that i think i will need to click on it to find out okay yep the spelling is not correct over here right the errors are gone now so let's check and see if our code is working correctly or not so i will just click on this give command button and then i will uh, need to give one of these commands to select any of the checkboxes and let's do that so select steve right so you can see that this checkbox has been selected depending on the um, the command which i have given so if any web application will need to access the mic of the system of any pc or any mobile device then the browser will simply ask the user if they want to do it or not by showing a dialog so i have already allowed the use of my mic so this is why the 
um, the Chrome browser is not asking me the permission but for you if you will run this app for the first time then you will see that there is a, a dialogue asking for your permission so you will simply have to allow the um, Chrome to record your voice otherwise this API will not be able to work now let's go ahead and select another checkbox and select Bruce select Tony select Nick so you can see that my recognition is not successful it has um, recognized a different word which is not Nick it has recognized neck so I can try again to um, do better this time select Nick right so now all of the checkboxes are selected similarly we can also um, add the uh, deselect code instead of selecting the checkboxes and for that we simply need to replace this select with deselect and we will need to subject to false instead of setting it to true now let's try again select Tony select Tony and now let's try to deselect this checkbox deselect Tony right so our code is working perfectly fine now this is very basic and there could be um, a different and complex way in which um, we can identify the voice commands because right now this is kind of a code duplication and we can simply um, divide the entire string which has been recognized by this API into different parts and then we can go on um, uh, matching all the different parts with the uh, with the commands which the application should support and then depending on that we can um, do something complex I mean this should not be this basic like these if statements but yeah I, I think that you get the idea how you can um, use this API in your applications so yep that's pretty much it for this video guys and i hope that you have understood what i am trying to explain here and if you do just you know place a like if you want to on this video and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and i will see you in the next one till then have a great day